We've probably all found ourselves as working women in that situation of work, child not very well, yeah. you know, do, and you've booked something and you're yeah. expected to be somewhere and, and that kind of thing, like, how unwell are they? I don't know. You know, that guilt thing. Have you yeah. found yourself in that uh, situation before? Definitely. I mean, I've, I actually make a conscious effort for my children not to be a reason that I can't do something. Um, earlier this year, I was shooting a, a commercial in Cape Town and two days before I left, my daughter came down with the chicken pox. Now, I was just... Obviously, I'm like, well, I'm supposed to be with her and I'm supposed to be... But at the same time, it was a huge job and it was something that I just didn't feel capable of turning down and I've, I tried everything and um, even, you know, seeing if I could take her with me, but you can't take someone on a plane with I'm a contagious flying, disease yeah. and all of that. So eventually I ended up leaving her with her dad. It's her dad. But at the same time, I just... Honestly, the whole trip was just ruined yeah. for me purely because I just kept feeling like I've left and my it, child. You know, and you think, but you left the child with her father. With, yeah. It's like, why yeah. not? It was the other way round. Mm. They probably nobody wouldn't would be an feeling yeah. nobody would bat an eyelid. No. So I think for mm. women, it's this guilt, which we're... It is. You know, oh, maybe that's yeah. our own fault, Definitely. you know, that they say, well, nobody's... Fault? No, I mean, nobody's telling us to feel guilty. It's just... Yeah. You know, it's but just guilty. being a mother, I think, mm. just... I always say mother, the word mother must mean guilt. I mean, you always feel guilty about something, <laughs> something. If, if they're ill. I mean, my oldest daughter's nearly 25, and if she's ill, I still react in a similar mm. way that I did when she was five. You, you know, get off, mother, you know. <laughs> you, you never let go of that. And she that. doesn't live with you anymore, so do you, no, if she she's doesn't. ill, do you feel like you want to rush up to wherever she is and look well, after her? Well, rush up while I'm in New York, so I'd have to rush up to London. Yeah. But, um, yeah, if anything happened to my girls, if they were seriously ill, I would be on a plane like that. I, I, and they know that. I mean, I see them every four or five weeks. The one at uni is perpetually ill. They seem to be ill all the time. That's all the snogging they do, I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> I'm told. I didn't go to university, but that's what they I say. I think it's... She works at the Students' Union. I think she's drinking more but than she's But if it's something, Jay, <laughs> that's not... I mean, I've had a situation with Jack where I've gone to wake him up, because I leave quite early in the morning, you know, so I've gone to wake him up, and he gets that, I don't feel very well, Mum. And I think, right, is he playing me here? Because he knows I've got to go to work and I've got to make that decision. Yeah. And I go, right, you know, and I've got the child mm. minder, and I don't really want them to have to make the decision. Yeah. And I go, really, Jack? Well, yeah, I really do. I yeah. feel my head. Yeah. And, yeah, there have been times, and I said, I think you're fine, and yeah. I've gone to work. No, I'm a bit brutal oh. like that, I have to say. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think as a mum, again, you learn to differentiate, don't you? And there's always a litmus test. I mean, maybe not with Jack, because he's a bit older, but with my youngest, they go, oh, well, OK, so you won't want to go to that play date on Wednesday yes. then. <laughs> and then you see them instantly rally, and they go, oh, well, I might be all right by Wednesday. <laughs> and then I say, OK, gotcha. Yeah. Um, but but, you know, uh, we, we've all had it and, uh, I mean, I work from home so it's kind of a bit easier for me to be flexible but I remember once me and my husband, we had a... Rom we never hardly ever go away on our own and we had a romantic weekend abroad. I had my mum in situ, it was all booked, we were ready to go and we woke up my daughter had a temperature and she would have been absolutely fine with my mum. My mum's yeah. brilliant with her but she was just like, Mummy! And I, yeah. I cancelled. Yeah. I actually cancelled because I knew I wouldn't enjoy myself. Mm, I would have, yeah. you know, I'd just sit there fretting for the... But that's it's, my guilt. Yeah, and the thing, it comes down to guilt again.